Welcome to another video and today we're going to look at a couple of variations of the cable press, especially the single arm one, which is like a, I've featured that in many videos with the you know strength of the serratus anterior and just shoulder strength and core strength, anterior oblique sling stuff. Um, it's an awesome exercise I've used for a long time and this is just a couple of variations that you could use um, to help you um, execute more dynamic and faster versions because there's lots of basically it really mimics the throwing action so um, the, the closer you can get it to that the, the more um, functionally efficient it becomes so it's more than just a strength exercise all right so let's have a look at this first one which is quite a simple one so anyone who struggles with the split stance I could just use like a bilateral stance where I'm just shifting my weight from the left leg here pushing through and then my weight transfers to the right so I don't need to necessarily use that lunge split stance all the time. It's definitely what I want to get to, but I could start off like this so that person can have that feeling of, of the shifting of the weight, which is what you'd often see when we show you wood chop exercises as well. All right, so now, now here you can see me going from right, so I load up my right, and then I push to my left. And, you, and there's that sort of subtle transfer of my, of my body, upper body rotating through my core, and I'm getting a lot of weight transfer from the legs. So the key is the legs to this. All right, so once I've got the hang of that, then I can move into the more of the uh, advanced sort of, a, of, of weight shift, where now I've got my weight entirely placed on one side, being my left leg. And, and you can see how my foot is pointed out this way, even though I'm actually going to be pushing that way. So my whole body is facing towards the camera here, and then as I go to push it, see my foot turns out to face that way. Now this leg is really the key because that's where all the power is coming from. All right, so as it pushes off, it, it's got to pivot itself around to face that way, and then I'll get a pushing in that same direction. The only thing going the other way is my opposite arm that way, which helps me get my rotation. So you can see right there. You can see how it looks very much like a throwing action. All right, so I load, the key is the legs, so I load up the legs, and bang, I just explode right through, like a punch or a throw. All right, so then I've got to load up on the left, step through, punch. All right, now this time is when I just have a step through. So now I can push right through, so I actually transferred entirely from left leg to right leg. All right, so this, this leg actually became a part of it, where on the first part, it was just the left leg. Now I'm actually making the right leg. All right, so there's the left leg. Now all the weight is on this right leg. So that point here, and you can see this is a perfect time to pause it because this, this left leg's in the air trying to step through, meaning that all my weight is on that right foot now, which is very much my glute, working with my core to continue moving in that direction. So what's normally an upper body exercise is now more of a lower body exercise. And then I finish right out here. Now this point here too, by the way, another added bonus is because my arm is fully extended out here, I get really good scapular movement. So anyone struggling with that scapular, uh, trying to get it really opening out, this, this exercise really helps to, to do that. So an added benefit, which is not really its primary focus, but it definitely is really good. It feels quite nice on the shoulders when you're doing it, um, although you do get quite puffed. All right, and then as I'm, see, I'm nice, well balanced between both legs, standing evenly, the cable's right against my back, sort of like a letter T. All right, and it's quite a uh, quite an advanced way of doing it, but real feels really nice once you get the feel. Like in slow motion, it doesn't do it justice because it's quite quick. And if it's not fast enough, um, you just won't be able to execute that step through. All right, so you can see if I'm now I'm right-handed, which is my more dominant side. So I'm just doing the basic weight shift first. So all of my weight on my right leg, I step out with my left, punch through. Once I've got a couple of these in 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 action, then I can do the little step through. Um, so then I step through, and I'm not as strong on my left leg, so I'm a little bit slow. Even though I'm right arm dominant, I don't feel quite as good as I do on my left because my right leg's stronger. So I get good there, but on this step through, I'm a little bit slow. 
and almost see I didn't quite get it right around. So on the next go, I make the adjustment and go that little bit faster, and I get a better timing on it. So and then I can a little bit more balanced on that push through there. All right, but yeah, great exercise for the core, for the legs, and both legs in different actions. And obviously the right arm, um, and 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 more importantly the brain. <laughs> Brain's working big time on all these complicated movements. But all right, so hope you enjoy those variations of the cable press that you can try in your training, and um, we'll see you on our next video.